Well, Jen and I are excited to have you meet Arabella. Um, it is the newest of our Block of the Month programs. This one will start shipping in December for a January start. Uh, Timeless is planning um, to keep this fabric in the line until the end of 2023. So it is considered the big Block of the Month for oh. 2023. Um, Jen will take a minute just to step us through the quilt um, as I describe it. It is an 11 month program and there's only one month that you make one block. Yeah, which starts here in the center. This is the only single block in the entire quilt. And then each month you'll make, um, rest of the months you'll make multiples. Usually four. Four. Yep, mm -hmm. four of each. So you or can see. Or like in the instance of the piano key here, you make part of the strip piecing one month and part of the strip piecing the next month just yep. because there's so much sewing. In yeah, it. we broke that into two months for you um, because after the second month when you get your big 24 inch units done, then we have you automatically connect it to your beautiful flying geese rows and then into the corners. And um, so you have this whole border section ready to go when to add into start the quilt to, yeah. and like most of our patterns this one is kind of done even though you may not make the blocks in perfect order of how they come out um, once you get enough blocks to do that nine patch center then we have you connect those blocks to create the nine patch center which makes it nice because you don't have individual units laying around um, Jen's going to show you the uh, the flying or the two peaks and one ruler, which is from Creative Grids. It's the one we really like to create the um, the V blocks. And uh, you might just hold that a little closer to the camera, Jen, because okay. I can't. Way. There you go. Hold it right in front of your shirt, I think. Oh, yeah. There you so go. You Perfect. Like a... There you go. So on the skinny end is the uh, points and the edges, and then the up, upper end is that. There's no trimming to these uh, blocks, so they go together quite quickly. Um, the fun thing, don't you think, Jen, about using the V-block ruler is you get the interesting shapes. Yes. Um, that's what helped us kind of create this kind of interesting in and out shape here and then as well as here. So we can kind of between the background, between the fabric colors that we've kind of placed and the um, V-block shape, it kind of gives you an illusion of this center part being on point when it really is not. Yeah, it's just a straight nine patch setting to create that center. And then um, interesting on those, uh, the burgundy star points, the one, there is one of the background um, points and the rest of them are all the other. So you can see how then just creating that little change in the block really added that little zippy um, point to finish out our center um, to really exaggerate the on point setting, which it is once again, not. My favorite block again in this quilt is the shadow block. Yep, this one um, here. yep I love it. It's just a big, um, basically eight point star. Um, we made it a little simpler. This is a similar block that we used in a quilt, but we took some of the work out by just adding bars of the fabric this time. Um, on the other end, you do have to create some flying geese and half square triangles really to give it that super really color and, and depth of that shadow block to the dark side. Um, the, the gold piece um, that's in the border of this piece, we haven't used that for a while. I think gemstone maybe was the last time. Yeah, and, we had a really um, similar print. Yep, yeah, I feel like this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this comes back to the uh, look of our kind of more jewel tones we've been designing yeah. in kind of dusty shades of that we love the dusty shades of canyon and plum yeah. fusion and, and the neutrals yeah. mm -hmm, the neutrals but now this one stepped back um, to more of the jewel tones but yet they're not bright they're just rich and uh, and still I think the teals and the uh, willow green print still adds a little bit of that yeah. dustiness that makes it perfect for uh, decorating in your home without it being, you know, too bright. Anything else you want to point out, Jen, um, in this particular one? Hourglass blocks, it's yeah. all basic piecing. Um, uh, the, again, like the V blocks, we did not include paper uh, templates in this one this time. So you will need to have your customers purchase either the two peaks and one ruler 
or use an equivalent um, ruler. Yeah, I think Studio, yep, Studio 180 has one, um, Peaky and Spiky has yeah. one. Um, and actually our tester said that she had a, a, a pre-cut ruler set that actually made this four and a half inch. So it's a four and a half inch V-block. So, you know, look in your treasure chest of rulers, but if not, um, the stores will will be um, guiding you and showing you how to use that two peaks in one uh, ruler. Because I we've used it in a lot of rulers in the past, but we've always included a paper template, which just is, doesn't just work the like best. I feel like the ruler method is, is just, it's just, smoother it's yeah. faster there's no yeah. squaring down yeah i agree um the little log cag log cabiny look or um kind of rail fence corners in the light and dark um you get a little test of your matching seams <laughs> when you connect the border rows to what we call the step blocks which are on yeah uh, the step block sits in between those stars yeah, so I think this gives you a little breakdown of Arabella. Um, it's a, a beautiful quilt. It's 108, um, and there is 10 SKUs in our Arabella collection for Timeless Treasures. It will begin shipping in December of 2022. It, again, will stay in the line until December of 2023. And, you know, at Timeless, they won't discontinue it, but it's always, and this quilt is proving to be very popular, um, you know, maybe out of stock for a little bit. So always plan accordingly for your um, kits on that. But 108 finish, uh, we go to make them smaller and then you guys call and say, please make it bigger. So here it is, uh, 108 again. Um, yeah, great design again, Jen. Um, Jen does all of our computer designing. I mean, we, we work them together, but it's her fine tuning with the fabrics and, and that kind of stuff that uh, makes it so much easier with her knowledge on the computer than when we had to rip out a square and put in <laughs> another square like in my old days. Anyway, lots of fun. So Arabella, the 2023 block of the month for Timeless Treasures and Wing and a Prayer Design.